Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Cash strapped public schools are looking to fill their budget gaps by charging parents for basic necessities like books, lockers and extracurricular activities. But is this going too far? Joining us now to debate is Bob Bowden, director of The Cartel, which is a film about massive corruption in schools. He is for charging parents and Family Research Council President Tony Perkins, who is against all of us. They both join us this morning. Nice to see you this morning, both of you. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, Bob, let me start with you. You support these fees, though parents say this is ridiculous. The basics that they, some of these children need, we're now having to pony up money for, like books? Well, I've spent most of the, a career uh, respecting the power and clarity of the television soundbite, but if you don't mind, I have a little bit of a nuanced position here. Please. On the one hand, there's so much waste in terms of administration and patronage jobs and contractors in public education. Uh, this is where I would agree. If you don't start by cutting the waste in public schools, uh, it is, that's pretty indefensible. So I would agree that, that in that regard, that's an important point. But to, to the degree that it does make sense to charge for these special uh, extra programs, uh, you might say the more transparency there is in terms of where public uh, schools spend their money, the better it is. You get parents engaged and actively involved in a school board meeting because they're now expected to pay for some extracurricular program that they m never might have before, and they're going to start asking questions about where the money goes. Okay, I, I get the good. nuanced side of it. I think you make a valid point. I think we would probably all agree about the waste uh, there that needs to be cut, but, you know, the transparency there may not be the answer, trying to get people involved, having them come into these meetings. And let me just give you a few examples we'll throw these up on the screen to get Tony to respond some of these fees that parents are paying for um, some of them include bus transportation books lockers that they're putting off uh, and they're also paying and some of these extracurricular activities art and language classes uh, Tony does this hurt children as a way of trying to create transparency in schools to Bob's point well I, I agree with Bob's premise I think we need more transparency and engagement in our school system but I mean, this is nothing more than a surtax on opportunity. And what's, what is behind this, uh, what is driving these toll booths at the school door, is that state legislatures, to deal with the inefficiencies of uh, the public education system, have made it harder to raise taxes, and therefore less money is going to education, although over the last 45 years there's been a 200, over a 250% increase in the money going to education that uh, they have gone to these fees instead of uh, raising taxes since they can't get any more money. What we need is competition in education. And it worked for the phone companies and communications. We've got the best communications system in, in the world. I mean, you don't have to wait till uh, Sunday to call grandma anymore. And so I think that would work in our education system. We need competition. Boy, he's right about that. I got to tell you, Mr. Perkins, I really agree that school choice is the answer. The idea of a protected monopoly that protects jobs from tenured teachers is certainly uh, a way to get more of the same, which is generally failure in American public schools. All right, gentlemen, so we're going to have to leave it there. A great debate and an interesting story. We'll have you back to discuss more of this, and we'll see where these fees go and if there's any pushback from the schools. Gentlemen, thank you. Yeah, sure. Well,